Are you serious? It says here there's more than one kind of diabetes? That's true. And diabetes has been plaguing mankind for a very long time. In fact, diabetes was first mentioned in medical literature almost 2,000 years ago. The term diabetes was first coined by Aratus of Cappadocia in the early 2nd century. In 1675, the word mellitus, which means sweet like honey, was added by Thomas Willis. After discovering the urine of his patients was sweet. How would he even figure that out? 100 years later, and the presence of excess sugar in a diabetic's urine and blood was confirmed, hence the sweetness. What could possibly cause a person's blood or urine to be sweet? To find out, we'll need to meet an important character, the pancreas. The pancreas is part of the endocrine system and produces important enzymes and hormones that help us break down foods. This includes insulin, which regulates the body's glucose, or sugar level. A healthy pancreas is able to produce these enzymes and hormones at the right time, in the right quantities, in order to properly digest the food we eat. When a person has type 1 diabetes, the pancreas is being attacked by the body's own cells and can no longer produce insulin to remove sugar from the bloodstream. In the case of type 2 diabetes, due to the volume and frequency of insulin being released, receptor cells become less sensitive to the insulin. This insulin resistance results in less sugar being removed from the blood. Sadly, over 360 million people worldwide find themselves in this situation.